This is your food truck guide on how to build it yourself. We started a DIY series on how to build your food truck and we've been taking videos start from the beginning and now we're up to the exhaust hood. So if you're looking for uh, how to do the electrical, how to find the stainless steel, how to do the outlets, how to do the lights, how to do the ceiling, look at the videos in the past. Uh, we went on a step-by-step uh, -step taking this empty 7x16 trailer that you see right here and converting it into a mobile kitchen on wheels or a food truck slash trailer and in this video we're going to cover how to install the exhaust hood the six foot install uh, exhaust hood um, how we did it how much it cost and what's the other one last but not least is where you can find it to purchase one yourself and that way you can do it yourself as well so with that let's uh, get into it right away installing the six foot exhaust hood in a concession trailer food truck whatever your uh choice is uh, as long as it's mobile kitchens we can help you how to do it so with that let me show you how we did it so i am frank Baltiers with uh diy series that i started how to build your food truck and we took these one inch bolts that they give you from this is where we bought it from hoodmart hoodmart is a company out in ohio that uh, manufactures these um hoods they're all approved for uh, national NFPA, we'll call it right there. And anything that's required from my health department, uh, they pass with flying colors. They built a quality product. This is the second one that I purchased from them. The price, uh, $1,200 to $1,300 for a six foot without a suppression system installed. Out here in the state of Illinois, uh, most... Uh, most accurately is DuPage County. That's where I'm licensed is DuPage County Health Department. They require anything with an open flame to have a suppression system or else a system that uh, besides your fire extinguishers, that if there's a fire right here where you're going to have all your cooking equipment, you're able to pull like a pole station right over there. Boom. And these little things turn on. If you looked at other kitchens, maybe a brick and mortar, they usually have them as well. So with that, that's a six foot hood, 12 to $1,300 not installed but if you want to do it yourself then you uh then that's probably the price if you want to pay someone i really don't know how much someone would charge you to install this because i've never had to pay anybody to do it so with that that's a six foot hood everything is spaced on this trailer on 24 inch they call it on centers that's where the metal is going across the trailer from one side to the other and what we did is we measure from here to that stud right there and we got the measurement boom and there we did the same thing on that one and then there's two more right in there one back there and one up there and what we did is we took this one inch half inch sorry a half inch drill bit and we did a pilot hole a pilot hole is just taking a smaller drill bit on this one we use a cobalt drill bit a smaller drill bit you start it first, make sure that you're exactly aligned where you want, and then you take that one and you make a bigger hole. That's what a pilot hole is. And that's how we installed this six foot concession um, exhaust hood. I always wanna say concession hood, but it's an, exact, it's an exhaust hood in a concession trailer or a food truck. And that's pretty much the DIY of it. I'm gonna put some videos right on the back end of this. That way you guys can uh, see how we did it. You're gonna need an extra set of hands. You will need an extra set of hands uh, just because it's a little bit heavy to get it up there. But once you do, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I used that helps you um, offload the work. And that way you can do a lot of this after the fact. Once you get it in position where you want it and you're able to cut the metal and do all that fun stuff. So with that, let's link up the rest of the videos. Frank Baltiers with a DIY series, how to build your food truck, exhaust hood version. All right, so if I'm trying to get the duplicate of exactly how my food truck looks, even with uh, the suppression system and the hood up here, I wanna get the exact measurement from right here to the wall, that way it gives me a good guideline for the new hood that we're about to put on right now. So if I take my tape measure and I put it right to the wall right there, the stainless steel, let me put it closer over here, and then I bring it over to the hood, I'm at about 28 inches is roughly where it's at right there 28 inches and then so we're going to go to the new food truck measure it out 28 inches and then that's going to give us the guideline to be able to cut the hole into this into the trailer so if i go straight to the wall there like that 
and I go 28 inches the line is kind of right here if you guys can see it I drew it on the wall here there it is right there so that's 28 inches right there and so we're gonna measure from there to this joist and that'll give us how much to cut on the hole for the food truck the the window the extractor the exhaust hood because you have to do it yourself so if I measure about let me give you guys a good glimpse there about 33 inches there yeah 33 inches there well there's a line right there I had drawn it out already so 33 inches is right there and then 12 inches is the other line so it's a 12 by 10 hole so that's where it's gonna be right there on the food truck 12 by 10 hole right there so the front of the hood is on this side so what we're gonna do is take 33 inches from there and add maybe just about a quarter inch because of the, of the stainless steel that's there so we're gonna put it at about 33 and a quarter and then this is what they give you from hood mark it's a 10 by 12 duct put it right there put it right there So this right here is the inside this right here is the inside of the duct right there. So we're gonna cut this square out just a little bit bigger than this. This right here is this. And then this is gonna fit right in bottom up like that so that's kind of how the the hood works on here make sure you cut off your square and then we're gonna use this as a duct and then you cut this around it's a big masterpiece so hopefully you guys get it done um, I'm gonna try to walk you as much as I can through it it's gonna be a little bit tough but it'll be worth it so let's get the chop in this piece And this is how the hole should look like on the concession window on the exhaust hood. It's about 10, 12 and an eighth by 10 and an eighth uh, opening right there. And just gotta make sure that you cut exactly from there to there between your studs on your two by fours because this can be anywhere on top right here. This could have been right there, but on my food truck, it would fit better exactly right there. So there's a six foot hood and that's the opening that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna use this duct you guys can see it right there that duct and then we're gonna cut cut the exact height that we need so this is the spot where we're gonna throw up the hood right now and we're gonna give it a preliminary marking we have one right there I just want to double check make sure that's correct so we're gonna throw this up right now and just verify all our measurements and then cut the hole right up top to go with our liquid tight so let's bring in the hood right now so so these are like worth their weight in gold if you want to say it zip walls they help you uh, stand this up as you're cutting the hole that's going to go out to your exhaust fan which is right there that's what we're going to cut right now and this is how the hood is going to go i did a mistake so i'm going to have to replace this piece of stainless because i measured it off my food truck and since mine is a little bit shorter i messed up and i got that wrong so i'm going to have to replace this stainless steel piece but that's what we're going to cut right now and this is how it's gonna look right here this is a six foot hood mark hood we're just gonna put a one inch filler right in there because it kind of fits at an angle that's how mine is on my food truck and that's just holding it up for now and then we're gonna drill it up and put the lag screws that they give you from hood mark right there not lag screws machine screws heavy duty and that's the hole that lets you see the outside and throws all the smoke out there it is the hood is just about installed.
So hopefully, if you guys can catch up on here, you guys uh, can kind of catch the glimpse of how it's done. If not, always comment and I can try to answer your questions. So we're about to drill in for the, for the screws here, for the bolts. And they're gonna go right in there. You just gotta make sure that you catch your stud. And on this trailer, every 24 inches it has one. So there's one right there, one right there. There's three that we're gonna be able to attach it to. So you grab one right there. Then they give you these uh, blue washers that you put on there in the inside. And then we're gonna put some more all around. So that's kind of how you attach it to the ceiling. And then we had to put one just to brace it off the wall right in there. So I had to come take a peek real quick just to see how I installed it. So I went uh, bolt to metal washer and then to the blue washer and then that goes up to the ceiling. So that's kind of how I installed it on my food truck and then I'll duplicate it right over there. Now it's the moment of truth. Technically this should be able to come right off and it should not fall anymore because I put four screws in there. Let's take out number two. Let's take out number three. If I'm not alive when I take out this last one, which technically it should have already fallen, someone called an ambulance on me. There it is. Successful six foot hood install in here by, made by Hoodmart. And actually this finish is a heck of a lot better than what I did on mine. The edges on here came out nice and crisp. I do like it a lot. Look at that. This one, oh, we made it with the angle uh, cut because you can get the hood that goes straight 90 degrees or you can get one that uh, is made more for like food trucks that has an angle in the back, which uh, they make a hood mark and it doesn't really affect any type of airflow on here. So there is a successful installation. Let me show you guys that out bigger screen right there. This right here, we're going to put stainless steel to cover that right up. That way it's nice and... Uh, flush on there but other than that that's all she wrote when it comes to uh installation of the six foot hood in a little afternoon we got it all completed thanks to some second hands that we have here so with that that is the hood installation hopefully i got enough footage in there for you guys i'm trying to do my best I'm trying to do my best and it's hard to have a video camera all the time with you when you're going up a ladder down a ladder if i had like a um what do they call those things the gopro then that would be more like hey you're really in there with me but with that that is part of the concession trailer the hood exhaust uh build with frank baltieras diy series how to build your food truck and let's just keep moving to the next project